Today we are going to clean an HP 950 print head. This video is for skilled professionals only. Some procedures may permanently damage your print head if not done correctly. Do not try this at home. We did print head cleaning multiple times from printers built in function. The sign nozzle is still clogged. For home users, we would suggest using cleaning solution or warm water to dissolve the clog. However, we will introduce a more advanced cleaning for professionals. Many HP and Canon printers print head are very easy to be removed. Just pull up a lever, and you can take the whole print head out. However, Epson's print head is secured to a plastic casing. You can search YouTube for the keyword, Epson plus model number plus print head removal. If there is no YouTube video, you can focus on free up the plastic tabs holding the assembly, then remove the electronic ribbons, and then unscrew the print head from its base. We will try to make more videos about removing Epson print head later. We are going to use a high pressure steamer to open up the clog as much as possible. At first, we use an iPhone to zoom in and make sure there is no visible scratches, foreign objects blocking the nozzle. Now it is the time to give the print head a steam buff. Many print heads would be unclogged after the steam buff. However, we will also do ultrasonic cleaning for demonstration purpose. Notice there are still some gooey stuff at the bottom of the cyan print head, where the clogged lines were. The ultrasonic cleaning will take care of it. Before we move on to the ultrasonic cleaning, we flush the cyan print head with warm water. For this particular model, HP 950, there is an ink bladder inside each color. If you push too hard, you will rupture the bladder and permanently damage the print head. Therefore, be very gentle. This is a very effective procedure but it can also cost you a print head if not done carefully. HP 950's ink intake fits a regular syringe perfectly. You may encounter some other models which the intake is larger than the syringe. You can measure the diameter and get a tube fitting from Home Depot or other hardware stores. Also, you can retrofit a cartridge and flush the print head through the cartridge. When using an ultrasonic machine, make sure to select a model with a plastic basket. The print head has to be suspended in the cleaning chamber, not sitting on the steel bottom. You can use warm water or cleaning solutions. However, do not use corrosive agents, like Windex, ammonia, or alcohol and bleach. Do not submerge the entire print head in the cleaning solution. Just make the liquid level high enough to cover the bottom. You can see the clog on the bottom of sign starts dissolving. Dry the electronic board with a towel, and steam cleaning the bottom of the print head. Do not dry the bottom with a paper towel because the fiber can get into the print head. Insert into the printer and run two consecutive cleaning cycles. The first cleaning cycle looks very good. The sign still has a stripe. However, the stripe may cause by an air bubble introduced during cleaning. Let's see if it will be gone in the second cleaning. Perfect. I hope you enjoy this video. Visit us on www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at our office at Greensboro, North Carolina. Happy printing. See you next refill. Cheers.